Let's get to our final story of of the day. A little bit of good news, I think. A little bit of good news. We could always use some of that. As some of you guys might know, uh, I uh, am not a big fan of Jair Bolsonaro because Jair Bolsonaro is uh, is a, a legitimate motherfucking authoritarian. Like this dude is a this dude is looking to bring a military wanted to bring a military dictatorship to Brazil uh, and has tried to do so. He is. Uh, he he is what tr I think Trump really wanted to be, but couldn't be because people on the ground. I'm not saying that Brazil doesn't have people on the ground; they absolutely fucking do. Uh, it's just I think Jair Bolsonaro is um, he is just a villainous prick. That's what he is. Um, uh, but check this out. Uh. The ICC on uh, on on the International Criminals Court, which I know has issues, uh, but the International Criminal Court, on behest of uh, various different Brazilian indigenous groups, uh, are looking at charges to be put on Jair Bolsonaro for uh, ecocide and crimes against humanity. Uh, under Jair Bolsonaro, since he became since he took power in twenty nineteen. Fifth, there, it, it, forestation has increased by 50%. Uh, indigenous territories have been invaded by an increase of 135%. <laughs> this dude is just invading indigenous lands. Like, that's all he wants to do. He's like, forget healthcare. We got to take out these indigenous people living off the land. They're trouble. Why? Why are they? Because they're. Because, did you see? They're. I mean, they could use a tree as a what? You, you don't know. Maybe they know how to turn a tree into a like a bomb or something. I'm thinking. Oh my god! Do you have proof of this? Or they actually do? no. But what if they call Captain Planet? What if they have all of the magic, you know, element rings, and they call Captain Planet, and that's, and then they could use that. Captain Planet could use it. As and turn a, a tree, so we got to invade the indigenous lands because we're protecting the world. Everyone's like, I don't think, I don't think you're making a lot of sense right now. I think you should, I think you should just stop talking forever. <laughs> it's what you need to do. So then, in 2019, uh, <laughs> there was also the Amazon fire that the dude didn't do fucking anything about, which was incredible. Which was like I I couldn't even fathom that. There's a whole fire in like the largest rainforest in the world that's spreading, and the dude didn't want to do anything about it. And then when the when when the public pressure mounted, uh, he was like, "All right, I'll send two jets with some water and sand and put try to put the fire out." He's like, "See, enough, right? God, oh, man, that's crazy." So why? So the other thing too is like, why did this sort of stuff happen? And, and that goes in, into the deforestation. Uh, similarly to to what happened in California is when there isn't enough vegetation, uh, that means that there isn't enough rainfall, which means that um, you know the brush gets really dry and uh, and it heats up a lot faster. So when there's really hot summers, there's a chance that this dry brush will ignite. There were also people uh, making these forest fires worse by literally burning portions of the rainforest and trying to clear it out so that they could have uh, ranches and things of, things of that sort developed. That's what he promised the uh, the ranching uh, the ranchers in Brazil, and that he doesn't keep up his end of the bargain. They end up getting bought out by the government for other reasons, so the ranchers don't even get to get the opportunity to buy the land that they were promised that they would get. He just wants to develop the Amazon into like that. He, again, it's like this manifest destiny type of idea, right? Where he's like, oh, well, I think that we should take over the Amazon and it should be for human whatever. And it's like, no, just fucking leave the Amazon alone, bro. <laughs> That's not for you. Nobody fucking needs a condo where there were like 18 different fucking species of like beetles alone, dog. Like, no one fucking wants... The, everybody wants the Beatles. There could be cures for cancer. Fuck, you don't even know. There could be a cure for COVID in the Amazon, and none of us can fucking find it because this douchebag keeps setting it on fire.
Actually, if you want to burn down an Amazon, there's a different Amazon <laughs> that you can burn down if you would like. So the ICC is at least looking at taking on this case of ecocide uh, because of what he's doing to the Amazon uh, and crimes against humanity because of what he's doing to the indigenous community. And, you know, it just shows that, the, like, right now where we're at with this is that, okay, at least it looks like the ICC is taking these things seriously. Uh, it doesn't look like the ICC is like, oh, we hear your thing. Okay, goodbye. We'll see if anything comes out of it. But I, I do, and I do hope that something does come out of it because this dude is atrocious. Um, and, I mean, he went after Glenn Greenwald uh, after he revealed what Operation Car Wash was. Uh, he he tried to like I think he tried to like assassinate him and shit like he is against uh, Glenn Greenwald's husband, who's like this prominent political leader in um, in Brazil. Not and then on top of that, the indigenous what, what he's doing to the indigenous community, the burning of the Amazon, the fact that he doesn't give a shit about people that have COVID, the fact that he's against uh, poor people in Brazil, the fact that he wants to bring, bring back a military dictatorship to Brazil. This guy's fucking atrocious. This guy needs to go. And if they do, if they do seriously take the uh, to, uh, if they do take this seriously, um, that means that leaders that do this sort of stuff. It's the same thing. Uh, uh, it's the same example that the 28 pages, the redacted 28 pages from 9-11 uh, that basically came out and said, like, yeah, I'm, America has connections to the Saudis and the Saudis were the ones that, you know, hired the, the terrorists to take over the planes and stuff. And everybody's like, well, we can sue the Saudi government and a bunch of politicians, including like people like John McCain and stuff were coming out and being like, no, no, no it's a bad idea because it opens up the presidents of uh, us getting sued for our militaristic actions. But I do hope that this goes through because, yeah, why shouldn't you fucking face charges for that shit? You're trying to destroy one of the one of the most diverse ecosystems on the planet. You're trying to destroy indigenous people who have made their lives on that land, who don't want to take over your city, who don't give a shit about what happens in uh, Rio de Janeiro. They just want to live their lives the way that they've been living their lives. The, your handling of COVID, I mean, that just opens up how Trump handled COVID, how a bunch of these other countries handled COVID, where a bunch of people died because and, and don't have health care and don't have a, a, a recurring payment. It opens that conversation up. And it damn well should. Because just because you're in power and you want to, you know, it, it enact these the crimes against humanities doesn't mean that you'll get away with it just because you were in a position of power just because you were a leader that people were like eh, okay you don't get to get away with that so i hope that the icc will 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 actually charge him for this stuff and they bring him in and they try him for it i hope that actually happens but at least they're taking it seriously enough to consider it so um, it's not a total win, but it's it's kind of in the direction of a win. That's kind of cool. Uh, let's do, 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 do. Devo says blessings in all directions to all. Thank you, Devo. That's very kind of you. Uh, slaying lies is close to defeating demons. Oh, thank you, Fred. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Uh, it's very awful kind of you. Uh, in my view, California fires have been set for a transfer of land to the wealthy. Very, very likely. I mean, it does clear up some places. Uh, I don't I don't have any evidence to, to suggest that. But again, it's the same thing like this. The, the Jair Bolsonaro is setting is literally setting fires because he said, oh, if, the, if we clear the rainforest, there'll be more land for ranchers and we'll develop that land and we'll sell it to you at a pretty good price. And and he didn't hold up that end of the bargain because I'm sure he's he's got other plans. Uh, or and it, it, the reality also could be that he just hates indigenous people and wants to get rid of where they live and then probably you know try to make money off of where they live. That's also a possibility, and that that could be transferred over uh, to to what happened in California as well. Um, but I do believe that California's fires very similar to 
the fires in the Amazon were, were caused by deforestation and forest mismanagement, uh, which perpetuates the climate change problem that, that, that we're all seeing, right? Like we're living in this perpetual cycle where over the summer, we're going to see these crazy fucking fires that'll affect even the East coast where we didn't have sunlight, like proper sunlight, uh, for a couple, couple months. Um, and, uh, and again, like these, the, like the winters that we're facing, like we we got these crazy storms that came in this weekend uh, that are then going to affect the rest of the country because I have a friend in Louisiana that talked to me about how crazy the winds were down there. So like the whole country is going to get affected by all of these changing weather patterns. And, you know, cl and that's a c contribution to um, con uh, climate change. We're going to, oh, uh, William. William's asking, "What software do you use for this podcast?" I use a I use a thing called Streamyard. It's a it's a website uh, that is primarily created for for streaming and making things a lot easier. Um, I I didn't stream a lot uh, before before I you know the pandemic in general or um, just when I was touring because the only way that I could go live was either through something like restream, which was a little bit out of my price range, uh, or OBS, which would only allow me to, I think stream on one, maybe two platforms. Uh, and it, and it was very complicated. And the fact that like, I'm the only person, uh, that, uh, that handles all this stuff, it would have been way too much for me to talk about the ideas that I want to talk about, interact with you guys, uh, and like manage the, the you know, the, all the stream stuff. Like it would have just been too hectic. StreamYard is kind of great because it simplifies all of that. It allows me to look at comments, bring them up on the screen, talk to you guys. It allows me to brand the 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 channel for a little, you know, a little monthly charge, um, and it uh, it it allows me to it, like the graphics are are sleek and they look good. Um, so I I I very much enjoy them. Yeah, and then I and then I use uh, when I put up the audio, I use Libsyn. Uh, that's the podcasting uh, service that I use. Uh, before that, I was using Anchor.fm, but they're connected with Spotify, who gave me a, f a weird copyright claim. And when I tried to talk to them about what it was to try to fix it, uh, they just deleted my entire podcast. So I didn't want to deal with that uh, again. So I went back to Libsyn, uh, and it's been going well, pr pretty, uh, pretty well so far. So yeah, I hope that <laughs> what's a weird long way to answer your question but uh we are gonna wrap things up uh sarah thank you for your tip in um uh, in rockfin i really appreciate that uh sarah's got a, a last little comment here global warming is caused by the very billionaires that seek to gain profit from another crisis absolutely 100 percent. that's that's exactly what's happening uh they're the ones that are they're you know creating all these problems that, uh that we see and they always say oh we're gonna go carbon neutral by 2030 or 2050 or 2070 or 2180 <laughs> like they keep pushing the fucking dial back you're right it's 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 comical but thank you Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member which gets you free tickets and bonus content and go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate 
to to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. And I hope to see you at the next video.